Professor Max Koch. You co-wrote a book on degrowth, so maybe you can tell us about your co-authors and also why you chose the concept of deep transformations. Um, I have been um, struggling for a while with the complexity associated with degrowth transformations. My co-authors Hubert Buchansen and Jana Nesterova from Roskilde Universities are experts in critical realism, which uh, facilitates the understanding of complexity in relations to transformation. Um, we can, with, with their help, we've been able to distinguish transformation at four different what critical realists call planes of social existence, reaching from the individual level, where we need changes in the inner being uh, via the um, social interactions of how we interact with each other, social structures, the hierarchies that we challenge us, like class, gender, etc., up to society nature relations and in that book we we basically outline what kind of deep transformations and all these planes would be necessary we're basically saying that we need change in all of these planes and we also look at different um, sites of tr transformations in our case the state, civil society, and business and economy, and at different scales of it, which is local, national, European, transnational. Um, we definitely need coordination of, uh, of, of different uh, um, local initiatives, and it is fair to say that degrowth is often a, a local initiative. But when you, when you think about, I will talk in my lecture about the implementation of what we call ecological limits mm -hmm. and on the other hand social flaws. It's a bit like Kate Roy Wars, uh, you know, donut economy with slightly different terminology. In order, for example, to, to implement caps on income and wealth or wealth taxes, you will need at least European coordination, otherwise you get, uh, well, capital flight. If we stay at the European Union, one of the flagships of the European Commission is uh, the Green Deal, with in it uh, also a just transition, but at the same time it's a growth-based uh, program, so would, this means we, we have to go beyond the Green Deal or what should we do? Um, I'm not against uh, a Green New Deal for Europe, but it would need to be a Green New Deal without growth. And this is due to the fact that we don't have convincing evidence for an absolute decoupling of GDP growth and environmental resource use. So, so far economic growth has coincided with an increase in carbon emissions and other environmental resource parameters. This is why gradual change will not do any longer in the climate emergency. We need deep transformations.